Hello everybody, it is your big sister of the internet, Yuki Bums, dishing out a new steamy video for you, I suppose. This is gonna be a risky one and could get taken down. Hopefully I'm small enough to go notice, but more importantly, hopefully there are enough videos coming out now that she can't flag them all. Normally, this is the kind of person I wouldn't be comfy talking about as I don't think she deserves the attention she so desperately craves. However, I believe it's an important topic that needs to be discussed. This topic is about a YouTuber abusing YouTube's flagging and strike down policies against people because she doesn't like them. You'd think that last statement is a stretch of reality, but no, she really tries to take down videos and channels she quote unquote doesn't like. Today we are talking about a YouTuber who thinks she's above other creators and deserves special treatment. This is Suzy Lou. Who is Suzy Lou? She's not a Dr. Seuss character, Suzy Lou who. Personally, she reminds me of when we're kids and there's that one like super self-important kid that bullies other kids, but then runs to the teacher crying that the other kids are bullying her. Yeah, that's that's what she reminds me of. I normally assume people like her are like insecure or something, and that's why they act that way, but I'm not positive that's the case here. She has such a strong presence of self-importance that tells me otherwise. I'd assume she was an only child or youngest girl in the family of brothers growing up or something like that because she appears, allegedly to my opinion, appears to be used to being coddled. There are people on this earth with uh, the purest of hearts who sacrifice so much. There's people who'd give the shirts off their backs, who go through struggles in life, and despite seeing the ugliest side of the world, they still radiate beauty and happiness. But then there are people who only have their own self-interest in their thoughts and they'd throw anyone under the bus if they needed. This is the kind of ugly that you can't tan away, you can't die away, and you can't put some foundation over. It's going to be there inside of you until you can own up to your own faults and allow yourself to grow. We can't fix ugliness on the inside. Only she can. Suzy Lou can flag all the vids she wants, fights with YouTubers, calling them losers and nobodies, but no amount of that will fix pure ugliness on the inside. So we get that she kind of has a nasty personality online, but who is she? Suzy Lou is a Scottish YouTuber who sits at 370,000 subs who previously did gameplay videos and other reaction videos. I guess eyebrows were raised when she appeared on YouTube Rewind with less than 350,000 subs. Her most viral video hadn't even hit 100,000 views. Despite that, she was on there with million sub users and millions of views users such as that like H3H3 production. The strange and apparent favoritism from YouTube and Suzy's gross behavior comes from allegedly falsely flagging and taking down videos from users who present her in a less than positive light as she views it. Meet YouTube's current prominent abuser of the claim button, Suzy Lou. All of this originated in March 2019 when a video by a user named Mark After Dark was taken down for a copyright claim by Suzy Lou. Why? The intro of his video was a 20 second clip of Suzy Lou hilariously overreacting to a VR game, followed by the Michael Jordan, stop, get some help. Oh, please don't tell me that's the end of it. No, I want to spend the rest of my life like that. It feels so real. That's not fair. It's not fair. That's made me cry because it was so amazing. Stop it. Get some help. Funny and harmless, right? Well, not according to her. March 11th, 2019, her takedown occurs, which YouTubers obviously don't like. People in this community don't tend to feel in your favor when you DMCA takedown videos because you don't like how you were presented. Commentary YouTubers started covering the topic, to which our innocent angel Suzy Lou responded to on Twitter with, how I picture you, haha, be gone, nobody. Dude, literally nobody cares about what you tweet. You are just a massive loser. Thanks for the views anyways, boy. Boys. Must suck seeing such a noob get so much attention on your beloved game while you nerds sit on your mom's basement getting zero. Two laughing emojis. She really seems like quite the stellar person. I've got whiplash from the force of being suddenly ripped through time back to middle school. When people started coming after her because she's acting like a brat, she responded with more video flags. When critiqued for abusing the flagging system, she throws her hands up in the air. She claims she owns the copyright to her face. 
and it's YouTube that takes them down. She's acting like it's ultimately in YouTube's hands and her flagging it has nothing to do with our videos getting taken down. Around this time is when the community started to dig up evidence of her hypocrisy, such as the live stream she did featuring uncut BBC footage. Hmm, pst. March 21st, 2019, 10 days after the initial takedown of the Mark After Dark video, she posted a video addressing everything titled, Addressing the Hate, What Actually Happened, which is already not a good sign. What one would hope is an apology video wasn't quite that. Her video, fully monetized, no ratings, and a filtered comments section goes up, quote unquote, addressing the rumors. Rumors, apparently. She said enough was enough and decided to address the hate. So to summarize her video, she starts off claiming she couldn't understand why Mark used her clip. She says, People are claiming she's taken a piss out of the copyright system making fraudulent claims on videos, which isn't true, according to her. She thinks the video, maybe videos, I'm not sure, are an attack on her brand. She thinks of these disagreements as an attack, admits to the BBC stream, and says they have the right to take it down. So she's disappointed in YouTubers who would flip on her, supposedly. It's between her, YouTube, Mark, and nobody else. And at this point, it's just people making hit videos, slandering her for views. She said she doesn't like drama channels because they blow it out of proportion so people get angry and attack, which honestly that's fair. A lot of channels do take the, the smallest, dumbest concepts and flip it into the craziest stuff ever, but in this instance it sounds just a smidge tone deaf. So she claims her YouTube partner manager says those channels have been flagged. Interesting. She says she can take criticism, but then also goes on to say how she filters comments because she wants a positive community and if she lets negative comments slip on by then it just spirals out of control or some shit. And of course she keeps twisting the situation into like it's people hating on her and she's done nothing wrong and I almost can't tell if she thinks she legitimately has done anything wrong or incriminating and really does think the critiques on her strike downs is big meanings out to heckle her. It's truly sad and embarrassing. March 25th, YouTuber Tipster News did a live stream interviewing YouTube lawyer Ian Corzine. Up until this point, Susie's boyfriend, who goes by Steve Joe online, has been talking about how he's a lawyer supposedly and, you know, has been white knighting her and backing her up. And I didn't really cover him in this because I really don't care. <laughs> but yeah, this commentary YouTuber who does like, you know, internet social media news interviewed this lawyer in a live stream that went up as a video on his channel regarding the Mark After Dark takedown. And the lawyer concluded that Mark's video was most likely fair use and Susie was the one in the wrong. The lawyer also mentioned how she should have just taken the higher ground essentially and laughed it off, enjoying the increase in publicity, but instead she responded by flagging the interview, resulting in it getting taken down. This girl just keeps digging her grave deeper and deeper. March 28th, Susie repealed her copyright strike and the video of that interview was back up. And that same night, she appeared in a Discord call in a live stream called RFC After Dark, which I will put a link to the full stream below and I will play a clip for you now and then explain what's going on afterwards. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Well, you gotta see video. We can't see no, that. We need the screen share. We need, we need the screen share. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Lots of, lots of GG reloaded, though. Yeah, lots of GG reloaded. <laughs> Oh, no. Yeah, we can, we can't we can't and have And you can oh, oh, look. God. You can scroll down too. Like where's the scroll? Oh my. Wait, wait, wait. Look Ooh. on the right hand this side. Is not, this, scroll this, down. This is not a good look, Susie. Wait yeah, a minute. It's all the it. stuff talking about the story. Wait a minute. Yeah, wait. wait. A minute. Susie, no. Oof, oof, <laughs> oof. Oof, oof, oof. Oof. Oh, yeah, no. yeah, we need she claims why should she have to defend herself to a bunch of nobodies, really letting that innocence and brilliant personality flourish. Her boyfriend, who up to then was playing keyboard warrior for her, posts a screenshot of her flag history incriminating her. She was temporarily silent of all these other guys in the call hoot and holler in complete disbelief. As her flag history shows, she'd been flagging GG Reloaded fits as like harassment and abuse. Girl. She comes in again with her 
beaming, beautiful, mature personality to state, I don't give a shit in response. She says she shouldn't have to do all of that because they're saying horrible shit and harassing her, to which you could just about hear the eye rolls through the screen. She says them making those videos incites fans to do quote unquote horrible shit to her, harass her, and etc. The guys of course claim the same things happened to them, with one of her fans trying to dox tipster. Her response? Well, did they succeed? Him? Well, the point is that they tried to. Then she has the nerve to claim she doesn't claim responsibility for her fans' behavior and just continues to fight with these guys. One of them says all this could have just been avoided if you didn't flag Mark's video, to which she responds, shut your mouth. And it was just a shit show. I really don't understand how she thinks that helps her case at all. So to recap all that nonsense, Susie Lou wants a picture-perfect YouTube scenario where her comment section is an ass pat fest and no super jealous angry YouTube boys come after her. I guess she's a bit new to the internet. Eventually, the unimaginable happens. Susie Lou's channel was removed for, guess what? Genuine copyright infringement. One thing I haven't mentioned so far is her current channel videos. Her content moved from gaming to anime reactions. Like, full clips of animes. Makes me assume maybe she's young or very, very new to the internet because clearly she didn't have to go through the parts 1, 2, and 3 of Naruto episodes on YouTube before they were purged. You know, because of copyright infringement and perusing sketchy websites to watch your animes before those sites were nuked too because this girl has no fear putting up anime reactions. You know how many of us would love to do anime reactions but don't because YouTube would blip you off the face of the internet almost instantly? And somehow this Scottish chick none of us have heard of decides, oh you know what, this is totally a good idea that no one is doing. The irony, this legend lagging videos for copyright yet is uploading anime reactions to her monetized YouTube with full uncut episodes on her Patreon. It's mind-boggling how she's gotten away with that. Most anime YouTubers know better. So on December 27th of that same year, just 20 days after her YouTube Rewind feature, her channel was terminated from DMCA takedowns filed by TV Tokyo. You know, the studio who put in all of the amazing time, effort, and years of hard work to produce the Naruto series we all know and love so much. One of the animes, Suzy Lu is streaming on her YouTube. She was completely shocked. Somehow in less than 48 hours, despite it being a holiday, her channel was reinstated. Just when you think justice has been rightfully served, YouTube stretched their grubby paws out to suspiciously assist Susie, and her DMCA claims were removed? This is where people suspect something more malicious is going on behind the scenes, because legally that's something YouTube just doesn't do. This could result in companies coming after YouTube with fully fledged lawsuits. And this is where people calling her a hypocrite comes from, and justly so. But what does she do? She makes a video saying it's a bot that just happened to get her, and a suit was filed versus TV Tokyo, which is not true, and says, quote unquote, we're coming after you, in regards to a company protecting their own intellectual property. The situation gets even more ripe with her announcing her website, where she hosts her videos reacting to animes. She thinks she can be slick and block Japan from viewing her site, because I guess she's never heard of a VPN. She also claims she got permission from Crunchyroll, because she had Google Ads sense on her website showing Crunchyroll ads. You cannot make this shit up. <laughs> the same girl who made a Twitter post roasting McDonald workers saying maybe they should get a decent job this is the same girl crossing her arms and pouting because she wants to keep profiting off of delicious simple boo money watching anime on her butt cheeks. I guess all is honky dory in Susie land until a YouTuber made a video analyzing her forehead size. You can imagine how she responded. Mysteriously taken down for bullying slash harassment. Personally, I guess that's fair. It's kind of cringy to go after someone's appearance even if they're a bad person. Like I get it. I had a tiny splash of internet popularity when I was much much younger and people who didn't like me would do some crazy things. I had someone edit my drawings so that my OCs were really fat. I had someone comment genuinely trying to roast me on a selfie I posted of myself. But the thing is, I don't lose my mind. I didn't try to block them or report them. Just let it roll off the shoulders and laugh them away. And you know how I'm doing now? Completely fine. <laughs> 
This girl, however, has a much more fragile ego. And speaking of a fragile ego, she's so much better than you and can prove it. So she took to Twitter to type out this humbling masterpiece. Imagine doing a video dedicated to slamming someone's appearance and then crying when YouTube takes it down for violating the terms. Imagine, smug smiley face, with a gift saying, you're a loser. Imagine having your jimmies rustled and your feelings hurt by an account with less than 30k subs and only 20 videos. Imagine. And thus, the war unleashes. Welcome to 2020. As you can imagine, a bunch of YouTube commentary channels started covering the story, one of which being Tipster News. Golly gee, wouldn't you know it, April 2nd, Susie goes after three of Tipster's videos, trying to get his channel removed via three strikes. Thankfully, her mass claims only counted as one strike, and he still has his channel. Unfortunately, though, some of his privileges are removed, such as the community tab. Susie Lou again takes it to Twitter and tweets, It's funny how people bully others for months and then play the victim when karma comes back around. Sending your five-year-old fans to dislike my appearance won't change a thing. This is just the beginning. Quite a lot to unpack here. This really solidifies her being coddled as a child to me because if she thinks critique videos on her bad behavior and one singular roasting her five head is bullying, I don't think she's ever really endured bullying before. Don't know if I feel bad for her or glad that nothing bad has ever truly happened to her. Not that anyone should have to go through that and nobody deserves bullying, but it's very apparent she's not endured genuine struggle and it shows. Also, so many people pull the karma card as a result of something they did in retaliation. Karma is supposed to be the universe restoring order and balance, not you attempting to punish people you don't like. It's kind of gross to even say that. She ends the tweet with, quote unquote, this is just the beginning, which of course, I don't know about you, but that sounds like a threat. It's like this girl is drawing a bullseye on her face and yelling, come on and get me boys. You'd think, oh, there's no way she'd keep going after all this. She just think the guys are haters and nobody, so surely she'd ignore them, right? April 5th, Susie tweeted she hadn't submitted any claims since Mark After Dark's video a year ago. She says it's up to YouTube and has the full-blown audacity to say, maybe blame your content, not me. How about me? Maybe put the phone down and do something else? Get a new hobby, learn a new language, I don't know, anything other than quarreling with these commentators who are so-called nobodies? The face palming doesn't end there. Boy, I haven't even heard the phrase face palm since like 2010. She claims, I don't mass flag videos, only ones I am unhappy with. I'm sorry, what? Which one is it? Pick one. Either you're flagging a bunch of videos because you don't like them, or you aren't. She then continued to state the tipster is on YouTube's radar for harassing on and off platform claiming it's not just to do with her which I'm just gonna slide in some clips for you now I don't mass flag videos only ones I'm unhappy with tipster is already on YouTube's radar for harassing other creators on a platform it's a bit deeper than people think and not only uh, to do with me and again I pointed this out in a previous video but I want to allude to this again uh, she says that I'm on YouTube's radar for harassing other creators on and off platform then why are your videos the only videos in the 13 year history that I have had a YouTube channel? The only videos to ever be flagged down off of my channel are, drum roll please, Susie Lou videos. So later that day when she was claiming that Tipster is on YouTube's radar, John Swan posted his banger of a critique video about her flagging videos that she doesn't like. Take a wild guess to what happens next. April 9th, video taken down for cyberbullying and harassment. At this point, YouTube commentators adjusted, making sure there's no possible forms of bullying and were just reports on the situation so that she can't flag them. At this point, has the circus finally wrapped up? Is it finally over? Nope, more takedowns. Spin the wheel. What is it for this time? Not having closed captions. You heard that right? No, I am not yanking the chain. These videos are getting taken down for not having captions. Imagine being that desperate to silence opposers. Imagine. Here comes my favorite segment, which I'll affectionately title The New Canoe. Why Susie Lou's entire Twitter, Susie Lou official, yeah, she's one of those, has been purged. Hmm. So at this point, everyone is kind of hoping it's her fans mass flagging videos. Like, there's no way at this point, this far in, she'd be doing that. 
It's their content and not her being salty, right? A user by the name of The Quartering puts out a bounty of $200 for whoever has evidence of Susie sending fans to mass flag videos. At this point, comments are disabled, Twitter purged, looking very suspect, but at least she's backing off, hopefully. Someone commented on her Patreon, supposedly, asking about the drama and where her Discord went. Her Discord is gone. Nuked. The flagging campaign bounty was up to $450 since her discord was also purged after asking the first time. Yikes on a bicycle. Now oh, here's the real kicker. More claims, but guess what they are this time? Privacy claims, meaning Susie herself has to file them. That's a yikes. So we do know now for a fact that she's sensitive to critique and will file claims and flag videos that she doesn't like. She paints these users as some sort of rule breakers to further prove to herself that she is the good guy truly. I think it's time to be honest. She needs to just take a step outside the box, let go of the perception that this is some sort of hate campaign and just like observe, just look. Take a deep breath, let go. Cause the way she is handling this further incriminates her. Susie Lou, do you not understand how bad this makes you look? Why are you continuing to push your luck like this? Like I don't understand how a grown woman can pretend to take the high ground that can't own up to her wrongdoings. You know what an innocent person does? Backs off, apologizes, acts like a grown adult and not like a toddler whose toy was taken away. Instead of getting the quote unquote hate and harassment recently, she could have just been honest from the get go. Say something like, I misinterpreted Mark After Dark's video as maliciously using my likeness for personal gain. I realize I'm wrong and I apologize. I don't mean harm and I understand now that neither does he. Could have wrapped it all up right there a year ago. Yet here we are, a grown woman can't handle anything beyond an ass pat and needs everything her way because the world revolves around her. It's childish. It's not how you handle critique. I'm really disappointed in her behavior, covering up her mistakes and inability to get over her ego and admit she's done wrong. I don't hate the girl, but I'm just really disappointed. It's really pathetic and kind of embarrassing. And don't get me wrong, nobody's perfect. True beauty is really hard to acquire. It's something admirable, something on the inside, and it's something you have to work on as it grows as you grow as a person, level up and self-improve. Some of us are honest, hardworking, or just trying our best with what we have. But then unfortunately, some of us are clouded by greed, hate, jealousy, insecurity, etc. Those people, their inner beauty can't shine. Hopefully one day Susie Lou can make her darkness clear out and can let her inner beauty shine. But for now, she has to battle ugliness on the inside. And that's her own battle to fight, not ours. Hopefully she will stop wrongfully flagging videos she doesn't like. If this video is deleted, you know why. Thanks guys. See you next time.